Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner here, a YouTube guitarist from South Africa. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Limp Bizkit's Where's Borland. <music> Say what you may about Limp Bizkit, but Where's Borland is a super underrated guitarist. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some of his techniques and what makes him tick. Now let's talk about the tunings that he uses. He predominantly uses C sharp standard, he also uses drop B, so he takes that C sharp and flattens it down to B. And then he also uses a weird tuning that he uses on his unique four string guitar, which is an octave F sharp tuning. Basically, it's C sharp standard where you take your low C sharp and drop it all the way down to F sharp. So you've got two octaves between the sort of sixth and fifth string. So I'm going to show you that in this video. Starting off, I want to talk about how he uses harmonics. We're going to take a look at the counterfeit riff and his use of harmonics in there and how it really creates that riff. Check this out. Next up, we got rolling. Now this is in C-sharp standard, but I'm cheating a bit. I'm using my guitar with the Floyd setup that's already in drop B, so we're gonna do that riff in there. And in this riff, you've got some really deep dive bombing in there. So let's check that out. Now next up, let's take a look at Nookie. Now what really makes Nookie a great riff is the style of tuning that he uses. So this is using that F sharp tuning. He does it on a four string custom guitar, but I'm gonna be doing it on my baritone. You really can do it with a six string as well. You just got two extra strings. So talking about this tuning, I've got a six string over here, but basically you've got a low F sharp over here, and then it goes to a higher octave F sharp over here, and the rest sort of goes through your C sharp standard tuning. I'll leave the tuning up over here. Now next up, let's take a look at My Generation. Now My Generation is a really simple riff, but what I really like about it is he's using the harmonics in there and he's also using a Floyd Rose style bridge where he's basically hitting that to give your sort of flutter effect. Now moving on to one of my favorite Wes Borland riffs, and that's from their new album, and that's Out of Style. So that is in drop B, and what I really like about this is his use of the Floyd Rose. So he's diving it and he's pulling it back to really give some interesting effects. And lastly, one of the riffs I want to check out is Sour. So this is a clean style riff, but he's using his unique sort of double tapping technique here, where he's using his thumb to tap and then his index finger on the right hand. So he's doing a double tap there, and then you're also tapping with the frets at hand.
So that's it for this video. The takeaway point is that Wes Borland is a super underrated guitarist. He's got some really catchy riffs and some very interesting techniques that he employs. And you could take some of these techniques and try them out in your own songs and productions. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and some comments below. Also, if you're new to the channel or you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that notification bell. A few other things I'd like to punt, I've also set up a Patreon account so if you want to support me and this channel, you can head to my Patreon and check the different tiered levels that I've got set up there with different benefits for each tier. Also, I've set up a Discord server where we geek out on guitar and gear. So if you want to join us in there and talking about high gain, low tunings, baritones, and all that type of stuff that we talk about in this channel, then join us there. I'll leave a link in the description. With all that out the way, I'll check you in the next video.